everyone. I am in Toronto with my sister today and my aunt because she wanted to take us to her favorite Vietnamese Thai food place in the city. So we're on Spadina Avenue and uh, we're gonna enjoy some wonderful food. And it looks busy, so let's go. Dried uh, stuff and nuts. Oh, lots of stuff here. Oh, yeah, they got rice, wild rice. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, lots of dried goods. Wow. Casa coffee. Let's go in. Oh, cute. Oh my god, it smells so good. can't handle the smell. She can't do it. <laughs> it smells so bad. Alright, I am back home now and my dad and I ordered some new pillow covers for our house because majority of our pillow covers were like falling apart because they're really really old, like I don't know, 15 years old or something like that. So a lot of them had rips in it from the dog and stuff. So we decided we'd order some new pillow covers from Amazon because it's actually pretty cheap on Amazon to get like pillowcases. So we got a ton. So if you guys remember in Japan, I ordered a lot of stuff on Amazon because it's really super convenient there. And it's actually pretty convenient in Canada too. That's where I started ordering from Amazon was last time I was here. So let's open it up and see what we got. Open her up. Open her up. Mini! Oh! Mini, no! Oh! So, I got like different textures of corduroy. So, we have like this kind of, I don't know, smaller textured gray corduroy. So, four of those, all 18 by 18, because that's like the average size, I guess, for pillows on Amazon. And ours are like 18 or under 18. Then, I got like a wine red corduroy, which is a little bit of a bigger pattern. And then I got these nice ones. Just, I think I got three of them or four. Did I get the set of four? So yeah, just kind of like an off brown, <laughs> beige mixture. So yeah, nice, durable, hopefully. And not too expensive. So we got four, eight, 12 pillow covers for under $100. So pretty, pretty affordable, I must say. Anyway, 
Uh, today was a good day. I didn't do too much vlogging just because I was with family, but basically we went to the Chinatown area like Spadina and Dundas. I don't know. I'm not, I honestly don't go to Toronto often because I don't actually live there. I live in like the greater GTA, which is like the greater Toronto area. So it's like Toronto, then the outskirts of Toronto and then the surrounding towns and areas. And that's kind of where I am. So I'm not actually in Toronto. If I want to go there, it's like a lot of driving on highways and stuff but yeah I was with my family today so I was with my aunt and then my sister and we went there and she took us to that restaurant that is apparently really really popular and it's been around for a long time it was actually really good the menu was huge it was so hard to choose what to get and I think they're known for like their pho but um I just didn't feel like pho or soup or anything like that just because it was like I, don't know, I just didn't feel like it, but it was really good food. And then after we went to the Kensington Market area, which literally was straight down the road that the restaurant was on, but it was so funny. I didn't feel much of it because it was really crowded there. And um, yeah, it was so funny because like it smelled so bad. Like it literally smelled like poo on there like so bad that like people walking by were like this covering their faces and we didn't understand why it did and then um when we went to that coffee shop um funny enough the guy making our coffees was australian so he was from sydney and uh, i could kind of tell but i didn't ask and then he's like oh yeah where i'm from blah 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 the coffee is so much better and then um my aunt asked and he said he was from sydney and i was like oh no way i'm like currently living in melbourne but just visiting home and then we were going on about how coffee is so much better in melbourne and australia just because it's like coffee country like i don't know why it's like australia right now or melbourne i think is the number one coffee like place for coffee in the world apparently like as of like current time like this year so yeah we were going on about how like you feel spoiled when you when you live there because you get used to having like really good coffee no matter where you go no matter where you go it's really good coffee and then you come back to places like canada and it's just like you can tell the difference like it's not it's not bad coffee like in canada but like you you can just tell the difference it's something you realize when you're in australia and then when you come back you're like oh my god yeah i can see why uh, australia would be like the number one coffee country in the world so it's little things like that that you notice and so the guy and i had a laugh about that and then we went to walk up the street because we were like, okay, maybe maybe it won't smell if we walk up the street. So we walked up and we saw that sign that was like, come inside, it smells like waffles, not like... And it was so hilarious, so hilarious. But yeah, we just couldn't... It was a little bit unfortunate because we just couldn't stand to be there. So everyone was leaving Kensington Market because it just smelled so bad. It smelled so bad. Um, when it doesn't normally smell like that. Apparently there's a building under construction nearby and I guess they're working on the piping or the sewage lines and it just smells consistently for for a while until they get that construction figured out, which is a downside because I don't normally go to Toronto ever and that was my first time in Kensington Market. So I was, I was a little bit disappointed. I really wanted to explore it. And then after that, we just literally drove back home and that was it. And then you guys saw the rest from there. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to um, update you guys on what we did because I didn't really do much talking in today's vlog other than right now so I wanted to kind of fill you guys in so yeah it was a really good day with family um, that was my first time I've ever been to Toronto with my aunt so it was a really kind of a special day it was a really special day for all of us um, yeah so I was really happy to do that it meant a lot and it was really funny really funny stuff really good day and then my sister stepped in poo too so it's so funny because like it smelled like poo where we were and then she stepped in poo and it's like our day is kind of revolving on the topic of poo and I just think it's hilarious. So yeah, I'm pretty tired. It's like 9 p.m. We spent the whole day out today and I'm exhausted and my skin is so dry today. My skin is just not handling the change of weather at all. Like it's peeling, it's so tight. You can't really tell because my camera is not really able to adjust to the light level in my room apparently so it looks bright but yeah my skin is like peeling everywhere it's chaos so i'm gonna wash my face and do some face masks and uh play zelda with my family probably and then hit the hay early because i am really tired i'm so tired so yeah anyway guys and thank you for watching remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it comment down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more of my daily life as i travel visit family here and go back to melbourne australia so yeah i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye also, I forgot to show you guys, um, my aunt always gets like gift with purchases and she always keeps them for us. So if you order, or not if you order, but if you purchase like high-end skincare or cosmetics um, at special times in the seasons, they'll come with these little gift bags that are gift with purchases and basically you get like miniature sizes or sometimes full-size products in there from like brands like 
Elizabeth Arden, Estee Lauder, um, all brands usually. So usually if you guys are ever planning to buy like high-end makeup like Bobbi Brown or Dior or something, always try to remember to ask if there's a current gift with purchase because usually they have them and even if it's off season when they're not doing the event, if they do have leftovers, they'll actually keep them in the desk. So yeah, always try to remember to ask if there's gift with purchase when you're ordering or purchasing high-end skincare or makeup from big brands like that. Um, that's a little insider tip because when I used to sell skincare and brands like this, um, yeah, I would always like know what was up and have the gift with purchases and tell people about it. Um, but they usually like to keep it a secret unless you're spending like over a certain amount of money. But if you ask, then they kind of like have to give it to you. So yeah, tip of the day. But anyway, she got a gift with purchased from Estee Lauder. Came with this cute little um, makeup pouch, which is really cute. It's by, who's it by? It's, I can't remember. And basically it came with these goodies in it. So it's got the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Foam, which is good travel size, good to have. And then it also came with miniatures of the lip gloss. So this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Gloss in shade Plum Jealousy, Plum Jealousy. It's a beautiful mauve shade. And then it also came with the matching lip liner, which is the color that I absolutely love. This one's gorgeous. So it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Lip Pencil in Shave 17 Mauve, which is obviously a classic color right there to have. And then it came with this Danier Leather, which I think is a Canadian brand, a leather brand. And it's just a small coin purse, so you can use it for anything and just put it in your purse which is actually handy to have so yeah good little travel goodies so yeah you guys could probably expect to see these two things being featured in upcoming makeup tutorials or if you're ever wondering if you see a color similar to this on my lips it will probably be this because I really like that shade